Welcome to Mountain Christian School. My name is Mr. Mann and I'm the principal here at Mountain Christian School. And I'm so excited to welcome you to this virtual tour of Mountain Christian School. We're located right across from the beautiful Sholo Lake, right on 3171 Sholo Lake Road. White Mountain Bible Church, we share a campus with them, they're right next door. And things are a little bit different this year due to the COVID-19 outbreak. We have been, we've had to cancel our kindergarten day and we've had to cancel a lot of the tours with, with prospective parents. And so we're gonna do something a little bit different today. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick virtual tour of the campus here at Mountain Christian School. We'll try to keep it short and sweet. And I'll try to answer some of the questions that usually come up during those tours. I'm excited to have you join us today. Let's get started. This is the front entryway to the school. You can see the office right over here when you come in. And you can see the kindergarten class right on the other side across from the office. Before we go to the kindergarten room, to see what's going on there, a couple things first. Mountain Christian School was established in 2006 with the goal of providing an excellent academic education, integrated with a biblical worldview, and partnering with parents right here in the Little Mountains of Arizona. We started with just a handful of kids, a couple of teachers, a couple of classrooms, and since then God has grown the school. And right now we're sitting at 120 kids in classes all the way from kindergarten, through eighth grade. It has been a wild ride. And we are so excited to see what God has next for the school and for our community up here in Boyd Mountains. Now, we're a four-day school week. Four-day school week. We are a four-day school week <laughs> from Monday through Thursday, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning till 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Drop-off starts at 7 45 in the morning. Parents usually come pick up their kids at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, we're going to go ahead and head into our kindergarten class. I think Mrs. Desmond is here right now. We'll go see if she's here and we'll go from there. Hello and welcome to Mountain Christian School. I am Mrs. Desmond and I am so blessed to be the kindergarten teacher here. Um, of course, I believe that this is the best class in the whole school. Um, and I am hoping that next fall, um, you would choose our school over all the schools that we have available. Because let me tell you some really awesome things about Mountain Christian School. We have so much fun in our class. Our class is so much fun. As we learn how to read, write, add and subtract, and we learn so much about this great big world. We discover, we explore, and we create so many awesome new things. Um, but the best most important thing that I love about our school is that we get to talk about God's love for us. We get to talk about his creation and his world that he's given us to live in. And that is the best part of the school. So I hope in the fall, you come and join us here at Mountain Christian School and become a part of this awesome kindergarten class. I hope to see you soon. Bye -bye. Thank you, Mrs. Desmond. Seriously, Mrs. Desmond is the best. Just saying. Now, this is our lunch room. It's right next door to the kindergarten room. The kindergarten room is right over there and right next door. Here's the lunch room. It's pretty small. You can see we've got one table here, another table right over here. Um, one of the things that Mountain Christian School really values is small classes. Our policy is to cap the number of students at 16 students per class. But in reality, most of our classes average between 10 and 15 students. And we think that's really, really important because it allows our teachers to be able to meet the needs of every single student in their class and to make sure that nobody falls through the cracks. And so we keep the class sizes as small as we can because we feel like that creates a great learning environment for the kids. Now, I usually have one or two classes eating in here at a time and they cycle through uh, a couple classes at a time. They have 20 minutes to eat. The first 10 minutes, they have to stay quiet while they're eating so that they can actually focus on the eating part. And then the next 10 minutes, they can talk with their neighbors. And usually most of our kindergartners, after a week or two, have figured out the routine and are able to eat through their lunch in that amount of time. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move on. Uh, we'll move on to the gym next. All right, so the next stop on our tour is our gym. Sorry, it's a little bit echoey in here. There's no one else here at the moment. So our kids, spend time in here uh, when the weather is not very good outside. Uh, when it's raining or snowing or a little bit too cold, they can do recesses in here. Um, we have two recesses per day for our students, one in the morning, 20 minute recess, and then another 20 minute recess after lunchtime. 
And they uh, kind of run around in here when the weather isn't very good outside. A lot of times our athletes train in here. Uh, we've got four sports a year for our upper grades, fifth through eighth. They can play cross country in the fall, and then volleyball, and basketball, and then soccer. So a lot of times our student athletes will use these facilities to train in and practice, getting ready for the season. So this is our, this is our gym, it's awesome. Okay. We're gonna All right, well the two things that the kids always really want to see on these tours is the lunchroom and the playground. Well, we've seen the lunchroom. This is a little peak of our playground. We've got slides, we've got lots of things to play with. We've got a basketball court over here. We've got plenty of space for kids to run around and get some energy out. As I've said before, kids have at least two recesses a day. I say at least because a lot of times teachers will bring them out for a quick break. And sometimes uh, they come out here before school starts too. If they get dropped off at 7.45 before school starts at eight. And they come out to our playground and they can run around. Um, and yeah, we've got lots of space out here to do that. Sorry, it's not a very good view. You're gonna have to come visit and see it for yourself. We'll keep moving. All right, so this will be our last stop on our virtual tour before we head back to the main office. This is the uh, sanctuary. White Mountain Bible Church, who we share facilities with, is very gracious and lets us use their sanctuary during the week uh, for school. And Mrs. Bloomstrand, our amazing music teacher, teaches music here at Mountain Christian School right here in the sanctuary. She teaches choir, she teaches um, music every day to the kids here at Mount Christian School. Also, once a week on Thursdays, we all get together in here, uh, kindergarten all the way up through eighth grade, and we do a bit of a chapel service, first thing in the morning on Thursday. And we all come in and we sing some worship songs, we memorize some verses, and we do a little bit of a devotional, and it's a really great time to get together and talk about Christ, talk about the Bible. It's really the heartbeat of the school. If you ever have the opportunity to come for a chapel service, we would love to have you join us. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap up our virtual school tour here in our front office. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me today on this little tour around our school. Um, I hope it's been, it's been good. I hope it's answered a few questions, but I know that you'll probably have a ton more questions. And so if you are interested in enrolling your student here at Mountain Christian School, you can go ahead and call our front office or email. I would love to call you and have a conversation. We can talk more about what the enrollment process looks like. We can talk more about finances and tuition. Uh, there are lots and lots of scholarships and financial aid options available for our students. And so I'd love to talk more with you about that and what's available to make it possible for your student to have an excellent academic education here in Mountain Christian School. So um, if you're interested, go ahead and reach out to us and I would love to give you a call and hopefully one of these days, I would love to be able to sit down with you and actually talk in person. Until then, have a wonderful day.